Hello everybody and welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to be doing a super duper easy cut crease eyeshadow look that's also daytime appropriate. I promise this is easy guys, I swear. So I'm using the Rare Beauty Give Yourself Grace palette. Um, I love Rare Beauty's face products, so I figured I would try out the eyeshadows. Now there's something about this palette that I'm not in love with. The quality is amazing. It's just like the colors. I just don't feel like the colors work well together. I don't know if that's just me or if you guys feel the same so let me know down below um so i'm starting off with the shade hope this is like a really good um orangey brown color perfect for a transition for me and i am doing a cut crease so i'm just bringing that shade outwards um like i said the quality the these eyeshadows are great they blend out really well the mattes are not dry they're super easy to use i just i don't know and i don't think any of the other eyeshadow palettes like I would have been able to get a lot of use out of like this is the only one so I decided to just use like the neutral side so I took the shade I think it's love or it could be faith I don't know I, I took that that brown shade okay and I'm just deepening up the crease this is a Sigma E36 this is such a good little fluffy blending brush like if if you have small eyes this is perfect but even if you have big eyes too like you could totally use this brush it's good for like precise areas but you got you, you know you need a little blend if that makes any sense so yeah I also just got the rare beauty highlighter guys that highlighter is amazing I used it for the first time today at work and I was like oh my god I'm gonna use this every day so anyway back to the eyeshadow um, I'm doing this cut crease this is how I do it I don't know if this is out of style but this is like the only way I know how to do a cut crease and it's super easy I just saturated my upper lash line look up it gives me the temp and I saturate the edge of my brush and it just glides across my lid so like there's there's no room for error okay so then I took this like yellowy goldy shimmery shade I think this is cheer maybe and um, it wasn't as shimmery metallic as I would like but it did the job it's very daytime appropriate so I can't can't be mad and then I am taking the dark brown which could be faith or love I don't know um, and I'm just doing a little wing I love doing wings with my eyeshadow I just it gives a little like you know smoky vibe kind of so now it's time for my concealer routine I'm just putting my concealer in these two areas I'm also sharpening up the eyeliner I feel like this just brings the whole look together it's my favorite part of my makeup well when I'm done with the eyes it's just I just love it it's just like whoa everything just transforms so um, I'm doing the same thing to this eye and blending everything out and then I do set my under eyes with the derma blend loose setting powder it's my favorite powder ever it makes my under eyes look so good and and this is a little puff that I got from Amazon and I'm just pressing that powder in flawless under eyes okay and then I'm going in to my lower lash line I'm probably going in not all the way to the inner corner because I feel like it closes up my eyes and I have small eyes but you know almost there a little more than half and then I am going to blend that out with the transition color that I used for the day I use the kiss the muse sire eyelashes guys these are like my new favorite lashes they are gorgeous like look at them oh my god I wish those were my real lashes so anyway this is the completed look guys it's so easy it's so daytime appropriate I feel like this makes my eyes look big you know and I have very small eyes so I love this look I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you think don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you like this video I would greatly appreciate it you guys don't know how much that helps me so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye